After the hustle and bustle of two weeks in Mexico City, we were ready to slow down and relax in the tiny beach town of Puerto Escondido. Unlike the larger and more touristy beaches in Mexico, like Cancun or Puerto Vallarta, Puerto Escondido is visited mostly by surfers, backpackers, and Mexican families. So there's no need to fight with huge crowds or noisy party goers. Just plenty of time to enjoy fresh fish tacos and a quiet, relaxing beach getaway. So we're here in Puerto Escondito in the state of Oaxaca. So the idea is to go like do like a little bit of uh, beach hopping and relax, really. Yep, I'm looking forward to it. We've been so busy lately. It'll be nice to, to have a little vacation in this vacation. Yeah, I'm excited to go to the beach again. I know you are, and it's, it's hot enough. It's like 80s right now. Yeah, so well, let's see if we find some nice beaches here. Yeah, I got my tank top on for the first time since the wedding, so let's go. <laughs> Quick tour of the Airbnb that we're staying. There is a beach that is like half a mile from here, but most of them are like a mile or two miles away. It's nice not to be in the middle of all the noise, a little bit away, but still accessible. We have a full apartment, which is nice to have again, more complete apartment. <laughs> so here we go. First of all, hey Ryan. Hey girl. <laughs> we have a full kitchen again, finally, yeah. which we love because we love cooking. Yep, we love cooking, especially breakfast like Ryan is making now because we miss homemade food and also it saves a little bit of money most homemade. of the time. <laughs> most of the time it does. So this is a kitchen here. Then we have a dining table, a counter Ryan is using as a desk to edit videos. <laughs> and we already have a little bit of a mess. <laughs> a full fridge, a little bit of a living area with the couch. And then we have the bed over here. The best thing about this apartment, the AC. <laughs> Necessary here, man. Yeah. So necessary. It's super necessary because here it's super duper hot. It's like in the 80s every day. Every day. Some storage area. The bathroom with hot water, which is always a plus, of course. And then here is like a second bedroom, but without a door. <laughs> with a with a bunk bed. This is nice for $28 a night. Not too bad. Not too bad. So we're going to the closest beach we have to our Airbnb, which is Playa Coral. And to get in, you have to go through a hotel here, pay like $4 per person, which apparently includes a burger and a water, which is nice. And yeah, you get access to the beach through the hotel, this way. La Coral Hotel, which hosts this beach, is old, and its facilities are more or less falling apart. We probably wouldn't recommend staying here, even with beach access. But this is one of the most secluded beaches on our list, so much so that quite a few people felt comfortable going topless in the water. The water here was rocky and there wasn't much sea life, but this is a great place for sunbathing. The next beach on our list was probably our favorite. Playa Carrizalillo has everything we were looking for from a beach. Mostly calm waters, plenty of vendors serving food and drinks, and we paid about $20 for two chairs and an umbrella for the whole day and did not regret it. While it can get crowded in the evening, the beach offers wonderful views surrounded by lush vegetation and steep, dramatic cliffs. Playa Manzanillo was our second favorite destination during our time in Puerto Escondido. Restaurants line the shores of this tiny beach and you'll need to buy a meal and a drink to use their chairs and umbrellas. 
Unfortunately, they have fresh seafood at affordable prices. The water was cool and comfortable, but super rocky. This is a beach that's better suited for fish than for people. So, if you've got some snorkeling equipment, it's well worth the trip. Last but not least, we visited the enormous Playa Cicatela. This is one of the longest beaches in Oaxaca. This beach is nearly two miles, or three kilometers, long and is renowned as a surfing spot for international tournaments. The waves on Cicatela are strong, so strong that swimmers are not allowed to enter the water. While I had planned to take a few lessons from the many nearby surfing schools, we settled instead for a relaxing sunset dinner on the powdery white sand. Aside from our beach hopping adventures, we got quite a lot of work finished during our time in Puerto Escondido. We work hard on these videos, so if you like them, be sure to tell us what you thought in the comments below. Next, we're headed to Oaxaca City on an eight-hour bus ride. So consider subscribing if you're interested in learning about the birthplace of Mezcal in our next video.